and the University of Cape Coast has made a breakthrough in the production of cowpea in the northern part of the country. This follows the development of four new varieties of cowpea that are said to be a solution to the parasitic weed that impedes the cultivation of cowpea, thereby making cowpea farmers vulnerable in the northern region. Now, the new varieties of cowpea that have been recommended for approval, according to scientists at the University of Cape Coast, are disease-resistant and capable of turning the economic fortunes of the farmers in the northern region. Richard Kwejunyakung has been paying attention, and here's what he learned. The four varieties recommended this week brings to seven the number of cowpea varieties discovered by the University of Cape Coast that have been recommended for approval in one month. Out of the eight products submitted, the committee selected four that had attributes of the other four which will also in turn go through the process of selection and endorsement. Plant biotechnologist and leader of the research team, Professor Aaron Asari, said the selection of the climate resilient and high yielding cowpea genotypes adaptable to the coastal savanna would complement production in the three regions of the north where drought was a major challenge. Yes, this uh, candidate cowpea cultivars that have been recommended for further approval and release as varieties are so distinct from the ones that has been recommended uh, for the southern sector in the sense that they are resistant to Straga gesneridis, which is a parasitic weed that affects cowpea production in a, a three regions of northern Ghana, that is the Upper East, upper west and the north. We have plans to make this available to the um, certified seed producers who would uh, in the long term uh, multiply the seeds and then commercialize it uh, for farmers to buy and then um, cultivate. A senior lecturer at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Professor Richard Akroma, is calling on the College of Agriculture and Natural Science of the University of Cape Coast to develop a product guide on the new variety of crops the college has researched into. In Ghana, cowpea yields on farmers' fields are sometimes around one ton or less than sometimes 800 kilograms per hectare. Even on the research fields, the earlier varieties are given 1.8 tons. So to see a new line based on data that we have uh, observed through their checks that they can have a potential yield of 2.6 tons is a big achievement. So we release them for two reasons. One, their resistance to striga, and two, their resistance to the, 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 the root rot disease. And then, on top of that, they, are, they have superior potential. The varieties found to be more drought and diseases resilient and high yielding would be released to the seed production companies for onward distribution to farmers in the country after certification and approval by the National Seed Council. The project is being organized in collaboration with the Savannah Agricultural Research Institute and the Plant Genetic Resources Research Institute of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, the Ministry of Food and Agriculture and the University of Virginia in the United States of America. Richard Kwejunyako, Joy News, Cape Coast.